So apparently she's moving to London and I'm literally so excited. But technically it could be a few months before she can travel here. So apparently she's moving to London and I'm literally so excited. But technically it could be a few months before she can travel here. Apparently, literally and technically are adverbs used every day by native English speakers. However, English language learners sometimes struggle to use them correctly. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you when and how to use these adverbs so that you can advance your English speaking skills. My name's Stephanie and I'm an English tutor at Britsent. Let's have a look. The word apparently has three main uses. The first is to say that you have read something or been told something, although you're not certain that it's true. For example, apparently it's going to snow tomorrow. Or she's apparently going back to Korea next week. The second use is when the real situation is different from what you thought it was. For instance, you know I told you her birthday party is next week. Apparently it's tomorrow. Or he looks about 12, but apparently he's 18. The third use is to say that something seems to be true, although it's not certain. For example, the old man defended himself from what the police say was an apparently motiveless attack. Or, the politician has run an apparently successful campaign. The word literally has four main uses. The first use is to emphasise the truth and accuracy of a statement or description. For instance, the Second World War was responsible for literally millions of deaths. Or, she lives literally round the corner from us. The second use is related to translation. If you translate literally, you translate word for word, meaning that you translate each word separately within a text. For example, Translations that are done too literally often don't sound natural. Or, the French term Mardi Gras literally means Fat Tuesday. The third use is to emphasise what you're saying in an exaggerated way. For instance, he missed that kick literally by miles. Or, they were literally over the moon at the news. Note that this is an informal use of the word literally, and some people find it a little irritating. The fourth use means simply or just. For example, it's easy. I literally toss the ingredients in the bowl and it's ready. Or, I literally press this button and the delivery is ordered. The word technically has three main uses. The first is to mean according to an exact understanding of rules and facts. For instance, technically the country's economic problems are over, but recovery will be slow. Or, we technically finish work at 6pm, but we might have to work overtime this week. The second use means in a way that relates to the knowledge, machines and methods used in science and industry. For instance, the United States has many technically advanced weapons. Or, their space programme is technically inferior to ours. The third use means in a way that relates to the practical skills and methods that are used in a particular activity. For instance, it was a technically brilliant performance. Or, she's a technically gifted musician. To sum up, these three adverbs each have a few different uses, 
which are well worth studying and learning if you'd like to develop your English further. Try to use them in your next English conversation. So that's all from me. I hope this lesson has been helpful. I'll see you next time. Bye.